buckle up and get ready for a form filling ride. So you've decided that you want to become a vet, but how do you go about the process and have you got the right prerequisites? Today at Vet School with Vet Med Kid, I'm going to be telling you all about the application process for the University of Queensland. The Vet Science degree at the University of Queensland is termed the Bachelor of Veterinary Science and you graduate with honours. It's a five-year degree and it's an undergraduate program. Each year, UQ accepts between 120 and 140 students. That's made up of 80 to 100 domestic students and 30 to 40 international students. But what classifies you as a domestic student? Well, either you are a citizen of Australia, a citizen of New Zealand, or you have permanent residency in Australia. First up, let's talk about if you're a domestic student and you're coming directly from high school. You'll need to make sure that you've got the prerequisites of English, Maths B, and Chemistry. And then you also either need to have Physics or Biology. If you're a high school leaver, you usually need to have received an OP score of 1, which is equivalent to an ATAR score of 99. But don't worry if you haven't got these grades. Only about 20 to 30 domestic students actually come directly from high school. So if you haven't got the grades, how can you still get into vet school? The other option is to transfer across. So you need to have done a total of eight courses, which is equivalent to one year of university. At the University of Queensland, we work with a GPA of one to seven, with seven being the highest. If you're transferring from the University of Queensland, you need to have gained a minimum of a 5.8 GPA. If you're coming from a different university, you need to have a minimum of a 6.5 GPA. The Bachelor of Veterinary Science course is quite a competitive degree, which means that just because you've got the minimum GPA requirements, you're not necessarily going to get into the degree. A little bit unfortunate, but just keep trying if you don't get in the first time. You can spend your year trying to transfer across doing any course, but a lot of people like to do the Bachelor of Veterinary Technology course or a Bachelor of Science course majoring in Animal and Veterinary Bioscience. Both of these are great courses and if you already have a love for animals, it means that you'll want to study these courses and be more likely to get a really good grade. People will tell you that they reckon you should do the Bachelor of Vet Tech and others will tell you that you should do the Bachelor of Science. The one pro for doing the Bachelor of Science degree majoring in Animal and Vet Bioscience is that in both your first and your second semester of the year, you'll be sharing a course with the first year veterinary science students, which means that you, if you do get into vet school, you won't have to do those courses again as you'll have credit. If you're an international student, you still need to meet the prerequisites, but you also need to meet the English requirements, which are at a slightly higher level than other UQ courses. If you're a New Zealand student, you have to get the same as the domestic Australian students. For future students, you now also have to sit a situational judgment test, and at UQ we use the CASPER test. This is to ensure that applicants also have other skills such as resilience, and aren't just book smart, so that you've already got some skills that potentially aren't learnt in the classroom for you to use when you are an actual veterinarian. Unlike other universities, you're not required to go through interviews, have done prior placement, or have to write any letters about yourself and why you want to be in vet school. The application process is all also done through QTAC, which I will link below, and I'll also add some other links, including a video that goes into a little bit more detail than I've gone into today, as well as some links about the program and future students that UQ has provided. Hopefully this video has been super helpful for you. Feel free to ask me any questions. I myself applied as a New Zealand student, which in itself had some difficulties, including my certificate about all my grades being lost in the post twice. As always, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a like. Maybe you should think about subscribing and check out my other videos with more information about vet school.